Hello, thought I'd give you a quick update as to what's happening here in Liverpool uh, in the forthcoming council elections where I'll be standing in the ward of Kensington and Fairfield. I handed in my nomination papers yesterday, got me 10 signatures, no problem. Uh, in the meantime, before I even got me uh, 10 signatures, I've been leafleting the, uh, the ward of Kensington and Fairfield with the latest leaflet. Rats, rubbish, robberies and useless councillors and it's going down a treat. The second leaflet I put out will be even better than that one, trust me. Uh, but also, while I was getting me signatures, a guy that signed my nomination paper said, but what are your policies, John? So when I reeled one or two off, he stopped me dead in my tracks and said, no, 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 no. What are you going to do about the potholes in this street? Now, funny enough, he lives on the same private estate on the edge of Kensington and Fairfield where a lady does that also last year when I asked her to sign my nomination paper, said, what are your policies? The one I mentioned about moving the uh, prostitutes uh, from Shield Road, Molyneux Road. She said, well, I don't live on Shield Road. So again, with the guy with the potholes, it proves once again that people are only concerned about what's happening to them. Now, further afield, in the heart of Kensington and Fairfield, people are indeed concerned with what third world immigrants are now doing to their community, but other parts, they're not. So we've got to learn from all this. They're not interested in the white farmers in South Africa, the non-existent Kalegi plan, Nick Griffin, or white genocide. They're not interested, right? They're interested in what's happening to them there and then now as I speak. So uh, leaflet number two will be better than the one I'm giving out now, and I'm getting a good response from that as well. Okay, I'll keep you updated. Okay, bye.